What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Seven Beats and today I'm going to show you how to create an Am Piano beat. So this will be the first Am Piano beat which I will be creating so I'm really curious what the outcome will be. So let's get right into it. So for creating this beat I did some research and I found out most of those beats are around 110 BPM. And I'm going to create this beat in A minor. So first I'm just gonna start off with some simple chords. So I'm going to use the whirly. So I'm going to use this feeling down preset. I make some adjustments right here to the tremolo. So I'm gonna create a simple chord progression. So just the melody right here. That's fire, so duplicate this one. And right now we're gonna strum my beat, so I'm going to press Alt S right here and just add a little bit and accept. And make sure to remove this part of the progression right here. And right now I want to add that typical trumpet, so I'm going to use Xpand 2, which I think has some really awesome trumpets right here. So I'm going to select Woodwinds. I'm gonna start off with this E flat right here. And I'm going to add another layer using Xpand 2 just to fill up the space. So I found this goodly bat right here. And I'm just gonna copy my chord progression to this one. And adjust the volume. All right, now I'm going to add some drums. I'm going to use my African Sample Pack Volume 1. So I'm using this deep kick right here and just normalize it. And I'm gonna add some rim shots. So I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to layer these two. I'm going to add some symbols. So I'm going to add a right, just the first one. And I'm also going to add a thumb. So I'm going to select the djembe. This one sounds nice. Maybe make the sample a little bit shorter. And right now I'm gonna start off with the rhythm. And this one is really critical when it comes to Emma Piano. I'm just gonna create this basic rhythm right here. Add this one right here. So this will be the main rhythm. I'm just gonna layer this one. And right now I'm going to add the kick. So adjust the velocity. That's fire. I'm gonna add the right. And I'm gonna add a pattern using the djembe. But I want to add another percussion. Add this one right here. Also make the sample a little bit shorter. So removing the reverb and just copy this jammer pattern into this one. Control C, Control V, select the pattern. And 
All right, I'm gonna add some swing to the beat, so around 25% of swing. So I'm gonna paste this one into the arrangement. I'm going to add a shaker loop. So I'm gonna open up my shaker loop back right here. I'm going to add this one. So right now, just stretch it to the tempo of this project right here. Select song right here. So right now I've only added some elements which contain some high frequencies. So I'm also going to add something which adds some more mid frequencies. So I'm going to use Xpand 2 again. So I found this basic sign pad plus right here. And I'm also going to add this E. right here, which are just the root notes from the original chords. Just really fire. All right, now I'm going to add a typical Emma Piano bass. So we can create this using the DX10. And I'm going to create this bass from scratch. So first I'm going to adjust a waveform. And the adjustment on the modulation one is really important. So I'm going to Adjust it like this. And this should be fine right here. And right now I just the chorus like this. So it's pitching down one octave. So for creating the bass line, I'm just gonna use the notes from the chords. create a roll right here so select some one four notes right here and create a pattern like this So that's basically it. And right now I'm gonna link all those elements to the mixer like this. And right now I'm gonna do some simple mixing. Or just some volumes. And add some reverb to the chords. So I'm going to use this Mahala Ventures verb. Select room. And this trumpet right here. Also gonna add some reverb. Cut out all the low frequencies. We're gonna select the room again. So that's basically it. And right now I'm going to create a really simple arrangement. So this is the final, but really simple arrangement. So I hope you guys enjoy it.
thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it also make sure to let me know in the comments what you think of the beat maybe this beat is a little bit similar to an afro beat but let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this or maybe some more amapiano beats in the future and see you guys in one of the next tutorials